What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today we've got some really awesome information for you guys. It's going to be a shorter video, but it's definitely worth it to bring you guys this. Unfortunately, it's a day late as I was at work when this all went out to the world. But regardless, here it is for you guys. Michael Condry tweeted out a reply to big time reformer Optic Pro, now only member of Optic. Big T tweeted out, thanks to the At Sledgehammer Games team for giving me a chance to check out Advanced Warfare this weekend. Hype for November. To which Conjure replied, thanks for stopping by At Sledgehammer Games to check out Advanced Warfare. Plus, not a bad showing for a rookie. To which he attached the following image. Yes, what you're seeing is in fact an image from Advanced Warfare, our first multiplayer image, most likely on a LAN connection. Though it doesn't matter because this is our first real look at anything multiplayer. Looks like a standard post-action leaderboard, almost reminds me of the Black Ops 2 leaderboards. While there isn't much to discuss about it, there's two things I'd like to discuss. Firstly, the teams. Often the teams in COD games will be based off of groups in the campaign, so we already know Atlas is one. Could the Sentinel be another one? In the reveal trailer, we got a look at groups like the KVA. Just theorizing, it's possible this could be another one. Regardless though, we know one of our presumably couple teams that we'll be seeing in-game, in multiplayer more specifically. And now here's the big one. Look up at the top of the image, we have captured the flag returning to Advanced Warfare. When I first saw this, I had to check to see if I was dreaming or not because Capture the Flag was a wonderful game mode that I wish would have been in Ghost to begin with. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Blitch fully, but it took a lot of tension and competitiveness out of the game mode that was to replace Capture the Flag. What I mean is that it was only one way. In Capture the Flag, getting there was only half the battle. It put players on edge and a lot more stress and thinking was going into the game when you had to actually return it. You had to think about your playstyle more and it was a much more team-based mode at that point. So reading this, I'm super happy to see that Capture the Flag will be returning. And who knows, the esports fan in me is starting to get my hopes up for the return of Hardpoint next. We already have one of the two great game modes that was taken out for Ghost in this upcoming title. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you excited to see the return of Capture the Flag? That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any news information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. As always, you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>